struggle. I love the commentary. With new technology usually comes the controversy of new regulations. Are electric scooters really that dangerous? Should they be regulated? And if so, why? There's been a huge spike in coverage when it comes to electric scooters from whether or not we should be using them for personal use, should they be acceptable in major cities like New York as a ride sharing option? I personally don't ride an electric scooter, but I know many people who do, and I see them all the time on the West Side Highway in New York. I even know of one very famous YouTuber who lives in New York and loves electric scooters. See you at the gate, bro. I'm actually a big fan. Making headlines this week is a study out of UCLA that attempted to quantify how many people actually come in for electric scooter injuries in comparison to pedestrian and bicycle accidents. This is a first of its kind study, and while it's not proving any kind of causation, it's really interesting, so let's jump into those numbers. The study looked at two major ER centers in Southern California and found that over a one year period, 249 people came in as a result of scooter accidents. Now the majority of these were the riders themselves, 92%. But here's the scary statistic. Only 4% of people People were wearing helmets. Four percent. That's crazy. Scooters travel pretty fast. 15, 20 miles an hour moving in the midst of traffic. How are you not wearing a helmet? If we dive further into the study, we find that 40% of these accidents involved head traumas. 32% of them involved fractures. Think about that. 70% of these injuries were serious. This begs the question, what should we be doing to regulate electric scooters so that we can decrease these accidents or what studies should we be performing to see how dangerous scooters actually are? The companies that represent the scooter ride sharing apps are quick to jump in and point out that we don't know how many people are riding scooters compared to bikes in this area, so maybe these are overestimated. I don't think that's the case. Granted, I don't have evidence, but my gut tells me that's not the case. Look, if something is moving very quickly in comparison to a bicycle or walking, the types of injuries that are gonna be happening are more severe, that's only logical. The question is at what rate do they happen and when they happen, are they more severe than car accidents, for example? New York Post recently had a quote in it saying that's about one death for every 12.5 million miles ridden, more than six times deadlier than driving. Now I try to figure out where they got those statistics from because they sound really scary, but I would like more research to be done in this area because if that's true, we should know about it. This isn't a ban electric scooters or to discourage you totally from using them. It's about knowing what the risks are, adjusting for those risks, either through regulation or some personal methods, and then being smart. When you're smart, that's how you stay happy and healthy. That was a quick Wednesday checkup. Why don't we open some packages that you sent to my PO box? I'm excited. All right, we got something from Hunger. I've been there before. Oh my God, this is the book Flow that I recommended in my uh, books that will change your life. But is this written? Is this in Hungarian? Did you try ordering this for yourself and it accidentally came to me? Okay, if I have a Hungarian friend, I will definitely pass this book along. Thank you so much for this. Ooh, this is from Germany from a person named Pia. I may or may not have some experience with that name. This feels like shoes. Oh, it is not shoes. Hey, Dr. Mike, here it is, your surprise from Germany, a parcel filled with German candy. Hope you will receive it before Christmas since there are some Christmas candies in it. My God, these look scary. They're black candies. You know we're unboxing this Kinder together. Oh, but I can't eat it because I'm on keto. By the way, keto's going really well. I'm excited for you guys to see the final keto video. Okay, Kinder Egg. In Russia, we used to eat Kinder Eggs all the time. Okay, it's a little bunny looking thing. Oh, it's a kangaroo, I think. Uh, no reverse address, but pull tab. Ooh, it's wrapping inside wrapping. You really wanted to make sure this was gonna be safe. Oh my God, another wrap. Oh my God, how many wrappers did you put? In this? Did you just wrap? Hold on a second, this is still continuing. You bubble wrapped it and then you regular wrapped it again. Oh my God, is it just wrapping paper? What is happening right now? Oh my God, more wrapping paper. Oh my God, more paper. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
What's with the socks? Why do people think I need so many socks? A little uh, tie action socks, that's cute. I'll wear these to work, I appreciate it. You did not need to kill 400 trees to wrap this though, although I appreciate your sense of humor. This is from North Carolina. It's a shirt that says for female, but I guess it could be, this is adorable actually. I think that's a new fee. That's actually really adorable. You know what? I'm gonna wear this for a Wednesday checkup just because I think this is awesome. I mean, obviously it's not medically accurate. <laughs> I'm so glad I stumbled upon your YouTube channel. My life has changed so much for the better and I want to say thank you, Megan. Megan, thank you for this awesome shirt. I'm sure Bear will love it. Now you know my thoughts on electric scooters, but check out my vitamin video to see my thoughts on supplements. Stay happy and healthy.